Okay, so we've, uh, we've set up our stage cylinder and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna analyze and label it in a, well, in a sensible way, really. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, get the analyzer out. And this one calibrates on ambient air. Want to be between 28, sorry, 20.8 and 20.9. Go. I'm going to start off with creating a flow um, in case there's any particles of moisture in there. We don't want to put, be pushing that into the analyzer. And then we wait until the reading on the screen stabilizes and stops moving. You don't need a lot of pressure for this. In fact, if you put too much pressure on, you can create an artificially high result, so it's better to do this uh, gently and take your time on it. It's still coming up. All right. Good. All right. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to label this cylinder in a way that makes sense for the people that we dive with. Yeah, so this cylinder will be clipped on on the left hand side, so I want, I want the external labels there. Okay, um, and there's a lot of different ways of doing this, and the way I want to do it is uh, a way that I like doing and it makes, makes life a bit simple. So I'm going to start off with, with creating a name label, which will stick somewhere over here, um, and that obviously doesn't have to come off because you know, it's going to be my cylinder and it's not going to change. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put a maximum depth label on. And I can do that with one or I can do it with two. Maybe if you want to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so the way that I'm going to label this is my initials here, OVO, and then my maximum depth is going to be here. My MOD is going to be here. I'm not going to write a percentage on it. I'm not going to write my name on here. I'm not going to write a date on it. Uh, the only thing that the observer from the from an external point of view needs to see is what depth I want to be switching this on to. Okay. Um, obviously, by having my name here, I can remove this every single time I reanalyze it. Right. Then on the neck of the cylinder, and this is for me really. This is to help me switch. Here. I'm going to write my name on it, I'm going to write my, my mix on it, and I'm going to write my depth on it. Okay. I don't want any dates on there because every single time I go diving with the cylinder, I'll reanalyze it. Um, I don't need to have the initials of the, of the, uh, of the blender on it. Um, I, will, I will analyze my own gas, I will label my own gas, and I'll do that every single dive I, I do, or every single dive day I do. All right. So I'm going to start with my initials. I'm going to write the percentage nice and big, which is the most important number for me up here. And I'm going to write my depth on there as well. Okay. That's enough information for me. I mean, dates could get confusing. Too much information can get confusing. Um, you know, MODs at 1.6 or 1.4 could, could get confusing as well. All right. So I've just got my initials here, the percentage and the switch depth that I want to be at. And the side of the cylinder, Write my initials. I'll show you this in a second. And the depth I want to be at. And that's it. I'm not writing anything more on it. It's really simple for the person observing this. Yeah? Okay, that's it. That's how we do it.